We're at 931 Forest Park Lane here in Sewanee. I'm looking at a huge home that has just been completed, renovation. Doing a QC inspection. We've got some debris on the outside, some pieces of cinder block, concrete. More discerning is this huge piece of plate glass on the right side of the house. Please remove. Both gates need adjustment. Um, they do not shut. Got some other debris back here that's not being used. Some drain tile, uh, it appears, as well as some tar paper from previous roof replacement. The home itself is in great shape. Structurally, uh, exterior and interior. Although you see that right uh, piece of glass there with the trim molding being broken away, it's not a broken piece of glass for that garage door. It is functional. This is a very large home. I added on it appears a couple of times. The master suite is uh, enormous. We'll get to take a look at all that here in just a moment. Again, we're a little low on that. You can see that's about two, three inches low. And it's because these bolts on the right hand side. Let's take a look inside. Floors. Vaulted ceilings. A bay window. Gas assist fireplace. Looks, we have, looks like we have leftovers in there. It didn't get cleaned out. Circular abrasive marks. On the wood, not sure if that was from the polishing. Let's do downstairs first. Now, at the top of the steps that I just took a step on, you can see the depression there, and you heard it squeal. That actually, uh, I don't trust that top step. That should be fortified because we don't want that to give way and somebody fall onto this tile floor. All new appliances. We have a garage door opener right there. We do not have hot water on because the water heater has an open right up. Get a chance to show you that in just a moment. Something is wrong with our venting. Please see the pictures in my report. Of course, we're missing the doors that go in that little utility area. Here's our garage. Garage door opener functions very well. Got the sealed floor. Brand new carpet. Good looking paint. We also do have a carbon monoxide sensor and smoke alarm here. This could be utilized as a bedroom. This actually doesn't have a door, so we wouldn't classify it as a bedroom. Extra large tile. Here could be an entertainment room, recreation room. Evidence of previous repair. This is actually where our uh, master bath is upstairs. We're going to go take a look at that now.
first door on the left when we come upstairs is the guest bath. The guest bath tub needs some help. The right faucet there, cold faucet leaks. Uh, also, we've got some drama going on with the tile and we don't have any silicone caulk along the bottom underneath there. Um, along the edge of that tile, it's like some soap scum there in the corner. Same thing on the other corner. And this tub is just actually heavily worn and it's even got some rust stains. Recommend we either refinish or replace that. This home really looks good. Um, and that's about the only thing that needs to be addressed because with the brand new carpet everywhere else, new paint, we are missing smoke detectors in the bedroom top of the stairs to the right and at the end of the hall. This is our attic access at the end of the stairs where we'll find our AC unit upstairs. The air filter is dirty. There's extra debris up there left from previous tenants uh, that will have to be removed as well as the previous air filter. It's laying up there on the rafters. Not sure how to operate the light in this room, unless it's this remote. Sure enough, that remote that's on the windowsill, it's also used for a um, fan. But I'm gonna leave that on the windowsill. That's how we turn on our light in the middle of the room because I went to reach for the light and I found four plugs. master suite again enormous got the double doors here with the shades built into them very sturdy deck overlooking the backyard gazebo back there walk-in closet a jetted garden tub Lanner tile and a double shower. I'll go a little slow on panning this. Well, that ends our QC inspection. Number one, the installation of two carbon monoxide detectors in the top two bedrooms, uh, top of the stairs, and then um, the guest bath tub actually needs some attention.